WIPO is a very good place to uh, con promote the environmental technology transfer. WIPO Green uh, has the database and also the network uh, by which the uh, uh, technology transfer can be facilitated through the expanded uh, network. GIPA has been involved in this project from the beginning and uh, that is because uh, GIPA is uh, well, one of the largest uh, IP associations in the world and uh, we are uh, IP corporate practitioners and uh, from the user's point of view we believe that uh, there is something we could do to contribute to the uh, green technology transfer. We have been engaged with, with WIPO for a while now to identify areas for collaboration and, and synergy between what WIPO does and what the Climate Technology Centre and Network would do. I think WIPO Green has a good opportunity to, to, to help countries to improve their innovative capacity to have access to um, technical assistance, training, particularly in the important areas obviously of patent and uh, intellectual property. I think the platform is there to allow both the providers of technology and the seekers of technology to communicate, to, to understand and know which technologies are, are available, how countries can have access to them, um, how countries can deal with um, the barriers, the, the enabling environment to allow these companies actually to, to interact and bring in their know-how and their technologies. I think the platform is, is promising. WIPO Green is actually a great initiative. Uh, it would provide more and deeper understanding on the role of intellectual property rights, how they can be spread, how they can be made available. And uh, I would also expect that uh, WIPO Green, while it is providing a platform, a marketplace for interested uh, engineers, scientists, etc., and developers, companies, etc., that we are getting much more transparency on the availability of technologies and uh, a much more active exchange uh, of technologies between amongst technology providers and uh, technology uh, yeah, uh, companies that are interested in technologies. Biggest uh, benefit of WIPO is that WIPO is also involved in a, a transfer of technology and diffusion of technology. And the, the CTC and also coordinating the process of uh, transferring and the diffusion of technology in developing countries. WIPO Green is addressing issues related to environmentally sound technologies. That is the green development. Now, when you look at the technology in relation to the CTCN, uh, you find that the CTCN is looking at issues how to identify and uh, transfer environmentally sound and uh, appropriate technology. So in this case, if uh, CTCN links with the uh, WIPO Green, that will be a very good avenue for identifying the appropriate technology and also trying to discuss and resolve each, the barriers that uh, affect the development and transfer of technology to the developing countries, especially the climate technologies for adaptation and mitigation. There is a collaboration to share databases, also to uh, share uh, you know, uh, good practices. And uh, uh, in addition to that, we also help in terms of identifying where the green technologies could be deployed, especially in the developing countries. The WIPO Green itself is bringing in especially the green technologies that we haven't been uh, so much focused and we see it as an opportunity for uh, the redevelopment of green technologies, especially in developing countries where we have the focus as, as SSK. But also we see them as uh, a diffusion of, uh, you know, uh, the myths about IP and uh, Hopefully that uh, the innovators and the SMEs will be able to have as much information. Also, they'll be able to utilize the services that will be provided through the uh, WIPO Green platform.